All right. Oh god, this is actually kind of here. Yeah, I, I, I <laughs> had it pretty loud too. All right, this is welcome back to Ch <laughs> Chicola commentary. Yeah, that one. And that uh, Zane Grant, I'm James. Oh, uh, this Grant. is Oregon Trail. You're Grant. Whoa. Yes, I am. Grant can actually hear the game for once. Uh, this can. is Oregon Trail. Yo, great man. It is a zombie, like 16-bit zombie game based on the popular franchise Oregon Trail. Did you say Oregon? Um, <laughs> like that's the that's like the most I awkward hate, pronunciation. It's Oregon. Of it's Oregon, not Oregon. I, I know it's Oregon, but I say Oregon. All right. Um. So <laughs> yeah, yeah like to right. start off, you're just like I, it gives you no backstory at all as to what you're doing. You're sitting on a couch and a bunch of zombies attack you. Apparently, you have the mm, biggest. The pleasure is all world. mine, James. Yeah. So here you name your four friends that you're. Gonna oh yeah, there I am. Friend uh, number one. So I put. Grant, oh, Zane. Wait, wait, hold up. Why am I, why am I not friend number one? Uh, <laughs> you are the person number... that I thought of second, I guess. <laughs> wow, okay. That's how it is, Zane. Uh, I didn't want these other two, so I just named them Dead Person 1 and Dead Person 2. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And I just kind of kill them off whenever I feel like, so... Okay. Sounds that's, good. That's interesting. <laughs> I, um... Ever since I was, like, a little kid, I've been a huge fan of Oregon Trail. And I still have my Oregon Wait. Trail 2 from, like, 1999. <laughs> and I will still play that game, like, once a year or so. <laughs> and I realize how bad I suck at it. That's why I put this, in case you didn't notice, I put it on easy mode. So <laughs> Yeah, I noticed. I was going to ask about that. Oh, I don't know if we're still far away. Because I did this... Uh, this is all, like, scripted shit in the beginning. I didn't know that because I did, uh... Do you find Clementine in the uh, treehouse? Uh, no. No, you don't. No. Clemens is as good as you're gonna get, <laughs> and he dies. So. <laughs> but I played oh, this Clemens for. Whoa, dude. Spoiler alert! <laughs> I played this for uh, my uh, in my library video, and I was making fun of Clemens because he managed to break his arm inside of a vehicle. Well, have you ever tried using a stick shift in a zombie apocalypse? I can't imagine it's the easiest thing in the world. Okay, so here's the part where it's like Oregon Trail, where you choose your starting supplies. It's a lot less complicated because it just gives you one screen. And Oregon Trail, have you, either of you ever played Oregon Trail? Uh, I have a few times. Just like in the beginning, you actually like go around the town and like go to the different shops and buy stuff. This is just like, okay, how much of this do you want? And I go through the journal here because I didn't, in my first impressions video, I didn't read through this. So I'm like, oh, okay. And then I'm just like, ah, fuck it, whatever, I don't even care. And I just end up go going back and not reading, like, half of them. And I just choose all my shit. Last time I, like, the first time I played, I gave myself way too much, like, useless stuff and, like, not enough fuel, so I ran out of fuel right away. Oh. Uh, so what's, I, I give myself... Important for? Uh, what's fuel important for? Uh, your vehicle. You, oh. every, like, basically, you go, like, a little bit each time, like, every couple miles like you'll see it as we were in the game and it'll take up a fourth of your fuel tank each time you move a little bit so uh, it's like really fucking important if you don't have it you're pretty much fucked and this is like the walking dead survival instinct yeah except it's good <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of ironic i got the game for a dollar 24 and i got survival instinct free and this game was still better so here i'm killing clemens i shot him in the foot Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, did you just do that because you felt like it, or is that a story thing? <laughs> yes, I put him down by shooting him in the foot. That's you can shoot him wherever you want, I shot him in the foot. Good for you. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'll stop like that. Oh, no. Yeah, you'll run into, like, different weather conditions. There's a lot of stuff that happens in this game that I just don't do anything with. Like, you can buy, like, special tires for your car to, like, not slow down during rain or snow or dust storms. I just never do it. Ew. Sludge water. Hey. So, when you stop... What, what's in? Oh, I was just gonna say, in all seriousness, though, this does actually remind me of, like, the better parts of uh, Survival Instinct and State of Decay. Yeah. Like, I wish there was a game like this that was actually, like, quote-unquote AAA or whatever, like, mainstream or whatever, because, I mean... You're gonna see a lot of this... This is scavenging, and I do a lot of this in the game just to get to the end. Because uh, you need 
all this stuff. I end up getting so much food that I just like sell half of it like twice during the look game. At that little, so look much. at those little dudes without without legs. They're just coming, gonna thrash over around. It's uh, kind oh, no. of C, but like, yeah, I got killed or hit by a zombie the first time I did it. Uh, it's kind of hard to control when you're hunting because you actually pull the mouse back, like, and it's reversed, so it's not like you're aiming. Oh, yeah. You, like, pull it back, like, to aim, and it's really weird. So it makes aiming kind of difficult. Resting in this game takes way too long, but it's the only way to regenerate your guys' health. Like, I right there, I just skipped the last hour because I'm like, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I do, set the zombies attack, do zombies attack you while you sleep sometimes? No, no, not at least not that I encountered. Oh, I set so the really the... small, so you guys get really mad at me for that because you start dying. Well, um, well, well, I don't like dying. <laughs> James, if I die, I'm putting you on a suicide mission when I play XCOM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently we're the unluckiest people in this apocalypse because we keep getting hit by snow um what we're actually doing right now i didn't read it at the beginning i don't know if either of you did but they're gonna drop a nuke on washington dc in like three hours or three days yeah, or like fall <laughs> yeah so we're trying to get to washington dc which is the only safe haven left oh. huh and this is a thing that's in the game you can find graves of people and in the they're all the kickstarter names of the people <laughs> And you'll find oh. some graves, and each of their graves says something cool. Oh, it's oh, like cool. the uh, it's like the Ouya, except they probably got their graves the day it came out instead of having to wait a week. <laughs> that was that oh. was the. Uh... <laughs> Never mind, you know. That was a bad joke. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is like the worst idea to do in the entire game is to do jobs for people because they almost never pay off. I had never done one before, so I'm just like, okay, yeah, I'll I'll protect you. <laughs> Wait, had you played this game before, or was this your first time playing it? Uh, it was... I I played for briefly, like, 20 minutes during my first impressions video, and that was it. And oh, okay. halfway through the video, my car broke down, because I ran out of gas, I think. So I just oh. killed off all my party members, and I'm like, okay, and then the rest of the video is just me talking about it. There <laughs> were, like, seven Jim Carries about to corner you. It's kind of hard. I don't know if you can see it in this, but some of the zombies uh, are different. They have, like, part of their head missing. And those guys will take two shots to kill rather than one. Oh. They're also kind of fatter. I only noticed the little guys without legs. Like that <laughs> one right there. Yeah, and they <laughs> somehow managed to go just as fast as the normal zombies. They look faster to me, honestly. So that no, might they just go be... It's just because they're going diagonal. Yeah. Yeah, you can see why I'm like, oh my god, this is just bullshit. Like, I was expecting... <laughs> and I just walk out Whoa. the street. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe I could, like, move around or something, but I couldn't. Seems like it's way easier to hit them, like, horizontally rather than vertically. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's also a lot... <laughs> See, I'm just, like, going off the screen. I'm like, what am I doing? I, I didn't know that there was, like, like a limit to the zombies. So I thought it was just going to keep going on. Uh -huh. And then I realized I could go to the right. <laughs> and that happens, I think, twice in this Let's Play or video series, whatever you want to fucking call it, I will do this, and I will go off, and I'm just killing the zombies, I'm like, what am I supposed to be doing, and I realize I'm supposed to go to the right, huh. and now there's no zombies left, because I just killed them all, so I just, I just walk all the way <laughs> to where I need to go, which is kind of the most depressing thing ever. This also reminds me of Survival Instinct, hmm. the empty corridors with nothing to do. <laughs> I hated survive, and that noise scared the shit it. out of me when I was playing. Uh oh, dead serious because I had my volume really loud. Dead <laughs> serious. Yes, dead, mm -hmm. undead serious actually. And then I don't even know why, but I did the second one. I think I fail at this one though. Oh, there's like are those people shooting at you, or yep. are they just like Resident Evil Five zombies? Bandits. <laughs> oh. Yeah, gotcha. Oh. <laughs> I I'll, I'll Good, I hope you get shot more. <laughs> so I'm like, oh fuck, I got hurt. I don't know what to do. Better kill someone and take out, <laughs> <laughs> so take out my anger. You know, another game this reminds me of is, um, uh, I think it's like a Super Wagon Adventure or something like that, if you, either of you guys have heard of it. No. It looks similar to that. Nope. It might, that might be based on Oregon Trail as well, but... It's like a indie game on Xbox Live. Uh, repairing the station wagon in this game uh, is complete garbage. 
Because even if you use 10 pieces, there's not even a 100% chance you'll repair it. <laughs> and there are multiple times in the Let's Play video things that I will use a bunch of scraps just trying to repair the station wagon. Yeah, see? Uh -huh. Fails and then you just lose all your scrap. It's like, <laughs> I was freaking out. I'm like, are you fucking serious? It's like the lottery for Super Smash Bros. Melee. <laughs> so the video is just like, this is like this. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, is there anything else? Oh, oh it's okay. Left 4 Dead. Yeah, uh, depending where you are, the price of items actually changes, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, med kits are generally the most sought after items, so they're usually the most expensive. And in uh, one of the later videos, you'll actually see I get something that helps me out with money. I'm not going to spoil what it is, but... Can you buy garden gnomes? Uh, no, actually. That's a, that's a shame. Yeah. Two out of ten would not No, happy that would make you. <laughs> I don't know if either of you know. Oh, it says right here, too. It shows the zombie activity. Uh -huh. And it'll be anywhere from low to deadly activity, I, I think. I saw it was deadly while we were going through the snow earlier. Yeah. Yeah. And that's... I base my scavenging a lot on that. Sometimes I completely forget and I'll end up scavenging when it's deadly. And I'm like, oh, oh. fuck, it's stupid. But I'm generally pretty good when it came to scavenging. Yeah, I, I find it I find it weird that just all of these props that are lying around from Jim Carrey's The Grinch <laughs> are just you know, they're just being used for Oregon Trail. Yeah, it's uh Ah god that noise. That <laughs> noise just kills me. So there's not nearly enough of me in this video, I wanna point out. Uh, uh, we run into our first horde of zombies here, which is also complete bullshit, because you have to base your decision on when you want to go, based on if they're, if it's like a large horde or small or medium, and if they're like hostile or not, and I usually wait like five times. Wait, hold up, what zombies aren't hostile? Sometimes they're docile for no reason. What? That's yeah, like, why? are they just I, like... I noticed when they were docile was the most times I would get attacked. Are they just like the people in Earthbound? They're just like, oh, you hit me with the baseball bat a couple times. I'm good now. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. So I'm just sitting here waiting. I'm like, this is complete bullshit. Grant, and I'm I think I just jealous of your extra health. <laughs> I never ever do anything except try and sneak through hordes. I never try and shoot them or light blaze through them or anything. Yeah, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> just going nuts with the mouse there. Yeah, you'll see me doing that a lot. I'll do stuff with the mouse when I'm bored. I'll just be like, ah, yeah, just keep going, whatever. So I think that's the end, yeah. So oh, cool. Yeah, unlike Grant, or uh, not Grant. Grant, it's not your fault, I'm sorry. Unlike Zane, <laughs> I actually leave off the videos at logical parts. Oh, okay, I'm sorry that a year and a half, whatever, to send the video. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like, comments, um, subscribe. No, none of that.